All right, so for the last few weeks, we've been talking about electricity and electric fields, electric forces, and stuff like that. Today, we're going to get into magnetism, and they both together kind of make up electromagnetism. So, thanks, Chris. <laughs> no worries. So, I'm going to turn that that way. So, but electricity and magnetism make up electromagnetism. When you think of like, you hear the words electromagnetic radiation, what are we talking about? So we are, that's, and I'm just using this as a demonstration of the marriage between electricity and magnetism, but we're talking about light, and not just visible light, though, the entire spectrum, right, from gamma radiation all the way down to radio waves and stuff like that. All those are part of electromagnetic radiation. We study that, we'll find out that, you know, electromagnetic radiation has an electric field in one axis and a magnetic field in the other axis, and it's the marriage between the two. So today we're going to talk about magnetism. So, and just to start off, we've got to talk about your lovely little bar magnet and stuff like this. So think of this as the side of a magnet that would point due north due to the Earth's magnetic field. So, and that's how we kind of call, you know, the north end of a magnet. And the opposite end is the south end. What happens if I cut this magnet in half? It creates two new magnets that both have a north pole and a south pole. So you keep dividing this thing as small as you want to go, and you're still going to end up with a magnet that has both a north and a south pole. Now, if we put two bar magnets next to each other, so which ends attract? North with north or north with south? North with south. So north with north, you get a repulsion, but match north with south, and you're going to get an attraction. So if you look then, <clears throat> if this is the end that actually points towards the North Pole from where we stand, then what is the North Pole? Magnetic it's a magnetic South Pole. So we've named these North and South Poles based on how they interact with the Earth's magnetic field, but technically, so the geographic North Pole is actually a magnetic South Pole for the Earth, and it causes the North Pole of a magnet to point towards it. So and technically, is the geographic north pole actually centered at the north pole? I mean, the geographic north pole is the north pole, but the magnetic part is actually not centered there. It's centered under the Hudson Bay somewhere, and it moves a little bit from year to year, things of this sort. Also, this idea that, you know, the geographic north pole is the magnetic south pole and vice versa, so there's evidence to show that that actually may reverse in history every once in a great while and stuff like that, too. So. But this is where they get the whole north and south parts of a magnet. So if you look at these lovely magnetic field lines, we drew electric field lines before. Where did electric field lines always originate? Positive, Positive charge and terminate? Negative. Negative or out to infinity. Now when we look at magnetic field lines, it's a little bit tricky because if we draw only this much of the diagram, it looks like they all originate where? North and go to south. south. But technically, the field lines run right through the magnet. And so if I said, do magnetic field lines run north to south or south to north, you'd have to be careful. Be like, well, are you talking about outside the magnet or within the magnet? Because outside the magnet, they go north to south. But through the magnet, they go south to north. So we've got to be a little careful. We can't make quite the same determinations we did or quite the same clear statements we did with electric field lines as we can with magnetic field lines here. So um, just word to the wise there. Yes. You said the North Pole and the South Pole, right? They're on opposite sides of the globe, right? So, yep. So is the, this is the North Pole, this is the South Pole. So it's the North side of it pointing to the South side, you know what I'm saying? So if you look at the Earth, let's just look at this sphere. And somewhere up here close to the actual North Pole, we have a magnetic pole. But it's actually magnetically... It's a South Pole, as far as a ma if you had to name it as a magnet. So at the geographic South Pole, somewhere in Antarctica, there's an actual magnetic North Pole. And so it's backwards. But because this is an actual magnetic South Pole, that's why the compass needle, which is the North Needle, points towards the North, because it's attracted to the South End. So, so let me ask you a question. What actually causes the Earth's magnetic field? So that's tied in rotations, tied in, you know, tied into it, stuff like that. They don't exactly know. And when I say they, I mean we're included, obviously, because we don't know. So, but they think the Earth's rotations do in there somewhere. So they think there may be an actual current. We'll find out that current causes its own magnetic field. Maybe there's some sort of current in the core of the Earth 
in some weird way, shape, or form, but somehow that reverses every once in a great while. Who knows? So there's still some real big mystery over why there exactly is a magnetic field to the Earth. Cool, so magnetic field. We use the symbol B to represent the magnetic field, and the SI unit is? So Tesla is the SI unit, but you might also see Gauss sometimes, which is not the SI unit. So, but the Tesla is the actual SI unit. 